afternoon everyone I'm glad you're here hope everyone is safe how many times have I told you that any earthquake can be a 10% chance of being a foreshock for something much larger there was a magnitude 3.5 this was probably the foreshock to the magnitude 3.9 there in Los Angeles at 10.05 a.m. came the magnitude 3.5 earthquake if any of you are watching my uh, Yellowstone video, you probably heard my earthquake kitty meowing in the background. Then shortly afterwards at 10.34 a.m. local time, there was a magnitude 3.9. Yeah, you guys are probably one day, yeah, maybe soon, going to have a very large earthquake. You can see we got a, a bridge here, an overpass. A uh, emergency alert was sent out for an earthquake on this 3.9. Everything was probably shaking um, before you got the um, text alert. Yeah, you can see it took uh, probably about 10 seconds to get towards the north there. If I can make that bigger, yeah. USGS gave an intensity level of 5. Means it was felt <laughs> by most people, yeah. Some breakage of dishes, windows. Uh, plaster, uh, disturbance of tall objects, yeah, check your gas and water lines. Do you have damage? Let me know. Only 565 people sent in felt reports to USGS. Either they don't know where to report that they felt the earthquake, or it's like voting. They just don't vote. They don't care. Felt reports were felt as far south as San Diego. Here we got intensity level 4. As far north, it looks like by um, Bakersfield, close to Bakersfield, intensity level two. Yeah, California has been a rocking and a rolling. I don't think God's very happy with the world right now. Riverside, intensity level five, it says. Another one close to that location, intensity level five. Let's see. Um, Ontario intensity level five and then all the way over here by cathedral city intensity level two and i'm not sure where that one's at oh um palm 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 desert okay thank you for sending in your reports to emsc because usgs doesn't tell us what you felt but here we got one report from ontario louder and bigger jolt and shaking it was scary yeah much bigger jolt than the foreshock before literally everything shifting around for a bit and louder rattling for two to three seconds they're saying uh east vale um it was strong let's see another report from ontario jolts and rumbling uh quite produced very hard shake and loud cracking sounds the house was shaking and rattling definitely the strongest i felt in a long time so there in east vale they must have felt the foreshock second time today harder this time Miraloma, it was a hard jolt and a bunch of shaking scary chino i'm sitting in my car parked along the street and it felt like someone was shaking the car I peeked outside and no one is around. Jerumpa Valley. I was at the gas station and felt the rumbling standing next to my car. This is what I'm talking about, the text alert. I heard the rumbling, then received an earthquake alert of 4.1, then uh, felt heavy shaking for several seconds. My dogs really reacted. Usually they don't. Now Chino Hill said they had three sharp jolts. Fontana, I saw the light thing over the sink sway. Dog bark, heard a rumble before it came. Pomona felt lightly in Pomona. The walls creaked. Anaheim, third earthquake is what my mom and I felt. We both upstairs at either end of the house. My TV shook and I heard my mom say, whoa. Seismolo seism seismologist, excuse me state that there is no such thing as earthquake weather. I believe they are connections 
to the weather and climate changes. Lake Elsnor. I was sitting in my car in the parking lot in Lake Elsnor, and it started bouncing. Another one from Lake Elsnor said it was a strong shake. And then Long Beach, sharp jolt, then rolling sensation for five seconds. There is a report from San Diego, mild five-second shake on top floor of third-story condo. Now, the aftershock, which was a 2.6, uh, we got some felt reports here. Intensity level 4. Let's see if they're going to give us location. Intensity level 2. Intensity level 2. I'm going to have to zoom in to see. Um, yeah, Lake Elsnor. Okay, a little bit farther southeast. And then the farthest north, um, Pomona. Okay, I think that's it. So I wonder if they temporarily shut down the Ontario airport. Here you can see that there. I haven't heard anything about it, but yeah, they might have temporarily um, shut down, checked the runway, things like that. Looks like altogether we got 31 earthquakes. Uh, most recent was a 1.5. Uh, 5.1 kilometers in depth or 3.1 miles. Let's see, we got a 1.2, a 1.4, a 2.6, a 1.3, 2.2. Let me close this out. Quite a few um, twos, it looks like. Reminder, any earthquake has a 10% chance of being a foreshock for something much larger. Yeah, a lot of twos. Okay, and there's that 3.9. Uh, let's see. And then there's the 3.5. There's the 3.5. Uh, go back up. There's the 3.9. Looks like most of the earthquakes are to the um, southwest a little bit, don't it? So what kind of shaking did you feel? Yeah, it's down over here where a lot of the earthquakes are at. How long did it last? What damage do you have? Yeah, check the water and gas lines. Even the smaller quakes can cause damage because of the bigger ones that already made things more susceptible. Put that information down below. Are you earthquake prepared? You should be prepared for basically any type of disaster, not just earthquakes. There is so much going on in the world. Um, please like, please share. Um, and I wanted to tell you too that a lot of times when people put comments on my videos, I do not get notification of it. I actually have to go into the video to find um, what you may have posted under the videos. I don't know if it's a way of YouTube shadow banning people or what. But um, yeah, right there is the magnitude 3.9. Yeah. Anyways, please stay safe. Always be prepared. And I'll talk to you later. God bless you.